Welcome back guys, I am Muni from smarttutorials.net This is a series of tutorials on how to integrate jQuery autocomplete with the Laravel cake page and coordinator Please check the video description for the demo or download link This is a series of tutorials on integrating jQuery autocomplete with the coordinator framework This is what we gonna build in this series of tutorials So we will start with a simple and go advanced so, for that, I have created simple jQuery autocomplete multi text field autocomplete. So, for a simple jQuery autocomplete, when user searches employee ID, it makes an Ajax query to get the um, response based on the searches. So, when you so when you get the response from the server, we will uh, it will show the list of employee details. When user selects any employee, it automatically auto fills the respective uh, um, empl employee field. Okay, for this, we'll use the auto complete database. Um, for simple jQuery auto complete, we'll use the employee table that joins with the designation department to get the respective employee details. Okay, for multi text field auto complete. We will use the country table to get the country details. When user searches country name, it makes a Ajax call to get the cut to get the response based on the search query. When user selects, it automatically autofills. User may uh, you know do searches in any of text field, country number, phone code, or country code. For example, I make searches on country code. It makes a search call to get the response. Okay. When user selects, it autofills. Also, one one more functionality is um, you know included in multi text field auto complete that is um, dynamically adding removing table rows using jQuery. So that is I covered in one of my previous tutorial. So I will add this download link in the video description. Please check. So also uh, my advice is please go through his jQuery auto complete from scratch that is series of total uh, added already so i'm also i'm um, linking this uh, link in the video description please go through go ahead to know more about jQuery autocomplete uh, for this tutorial i made the first installation of uh, codeignator framework so for that i went to codeignator site and download the latest version of uh, codeignator framework and extracted and kept in my tabdo folder Okay, I just renamed the project fold folder into code auto. Okay, next I went to download the the dependency for this jQuery auto complete that is jQuery and jQuery UI. Uh, the first high link purpose I'm using bootstrap. Okay, so I'm just download it um, and put it into access folder. So uh, inside the code auto I created access folder. Inside that I created CSS and JS folders. Okay, I just download it and put it into um, CSS and JSS in the respective folders. Okay, uh, for jQuery UI, so I'm using custom router because if you download everything, it will the file size is gonna increase. To avoid that, so if we gonna use only jQuery auto complete features, so just download the the script that requires only for the jQuery auto complete. For that, just toggle everything and select auto complete and click on download. Uh, once you download it, extract and put in the put a J, uh, uh, the images and jQuery UI and theme in in CSS folder and UI main is in JS folder. Next, I created employees controller in the controller and directory. Uh, inside the employee controller, I added the three pages index, single, and multi. Also, I added the views file in the views directory. I created employees directory inside the views and added three pages index, multi, and single uh, view files. Also, I created templates uh, header and footer between the templates folder. Um, next, I added the form employee form the single for single jQuery auto complete uh, with all the employee details employee id first name last name email designation everything um, and so also i created uh, app.js where we will write uh, our custom js file for the auto complete features the next i'm going to attach the auto complete feature for this employee id text box so for that i'm selecting the employee id um, Using its ID, I'm selecting that text box and uh, adding or uh, any slicing auto complete. For that, I'm pausing options. So, initially, I'm giving this some static data 
for to check the auto complete functionality so just enable the developer console and reload to complete yeah so now search banana yeah banana is auto filled so when you when user selects any uh, auto completer item this select event gets triggered in the selected event i just console the selected item if you see banana is is consoled so for autocomplete for the source you can give uh, either array of values or array of objects when you give uh, array of objects you have more control over um, how the data is displayed when users searches and also the data you get in the select event for example um, reload i am just uh, commenting out this when you give the array of objects um, when i search banana yeah it's banana get out so now it's get consoled so if you see uh, in the value maybe the the selected given uh, selected item id uh, in the label you will get the selected item in so uh, in the selected event you may make, make an ajax call to get the more information about the selected item to do some more operations so when you when you give um, the values as an array of objects you have more control over comparing array of values okay so even you can uh, pause in when you give array of objects even you can as more values to uh, as an object so for example uh, when you say selects orange if you see so in the selected item you will get more option for example if you say such as employee if you pass an object employee object even if in the in the object you can pass first name last name email and everything when the, in the selected event um, um, you can get the, all the information you can autofill automatically when the user selects a particular employee you can autofill the first name last name everything okay so now we see now to uh, the basics of auto comp uh, jQuery auto complete with the static source uh, next we gonna replace this with the dynamic data so for that I'm just commenting out and uh, replacing this with callback okay um, the callback accepts two parameter the request and callback when user centers what uh, anything in the text box will get uh, the data as an object okay um, uh, so using this data will make a ajax request to the server to get the response based on the search query so we will make and get request and we expect the data as in json from the server response so once we get the response from the server we format that response um, using jquery map functions like this so label value and the extra options if you want to pass okay if there is no response we will show there is no there is no matching there is no matching record uh, label okay for example uh, i'm just reloading it i'm searching employee ID with 8 uh, i'm selecting employee ID 82 okay this is before format response this is how the response looks like from the server okay so this is before formatted response this after formatted response we will form format that response uh, like label value and extra data so formatted response uh, we will pause we will call that uh, callback function uh, with that formatted response so once we call we, it will show the the list of employee id as uh, as an autocomplete when user selects we will we will get the selected uh, uh, item in the uh, selected event callback okay so in the selected uh, callback we will get that uh, selected uh, employee details for example um, employee id 82 we selected we get we got the employee details then using that uh, details we will autofill other um, employee details so in order to work we need to do a uh, few more changes in the backends so for that for this i have just created get employees 
um, in the get employees what i have done so i if i am checking whether id is there in the request if um, if id is there i am making a call to the get empl uh, employees model in the get employees model i created the get, empl uh, uh, get employees functions in the in the function i just written a uh, query that joins with the department sanity signations um, in var condition i make uh, you know like statement so once once we got the response in the employees uh, i'm just encoding it whatever the response into json formatted response and returning back to the users also added routing uh, so whenever uh, there is request uh, like get employees with the id i um, you know make pointing this request to the employees controller and get employees method so just add this uh, routing in the routes.php in the config folder also um, i added uh, in the config i added the base url this base url kept in the uh, header.php and the hidden field okay the hidden field so here i am getting the base path from the hidden field i am forming the url and making the uh, making the request to get the response okay that's it so we successfully integrated the simple jquery auto complete in next tutorial we gonna integrate multi text field jquery auto complete thanks for watching uh, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the updates immediately